Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're applying the quotient rule. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, um, y equals 4x to the fifth plus 2x squared all over 3x to the fourth plus 5. Well, I want to label my numerator my f, which is 4x to the fifth plus 2x squared, and my denominator g, 3x to the fourth plus 5. So when I have f over g, I can see that I can, could apply the quotient rule here. I have two functions being divided as part of one big function. So let's go find f prime. f prime is equal to 20x to the fourth plus 4x, and g prime comes out to be just 12x to the third. So now I have f g, f prime, g prime. Let's apply our quotient rule written right there, dy dx equals f prime, which is 20x to the fourth, so now it's just a plug and chug kind of thing, times g, which is 3x to the fourth plus 5, minus f, which is 4x to the fifth plus 2x squared, times g prime, which is 12x to the third. All of that over my denominator, which is g squared, so we have 3x to the fourth plus 5, all squared. So at this point, I've finished my calculus. I now just need to apply algebra. So we'll be distributing and simplifying. So we have dy dx here. 20 times uh, 3 is 60. So we have 60. And then the, we add the exponents, x to the 8th uh, power, plus 20 times 5, okay, is 100. So we have one, excuse me, 100 x to the 4th. Then 4 x times 3x to the 4th power, uh, we have 12 here, x to the 5th power, and 4x times 5 is 20x. Now when we subtract here, make sure we distribute the subtraction to all parts there, and sometimes it's easier to kind of see it like this, make a plus and make the negative right there by the 12, uh, x to the 3rd, if you can see it like that, that makes it easier for you, but, or you can leave it and distribute it how you, how you may. But it's just, I just find it easier like that sometimes, okay? Just double check and I did everything here. For some reason, I'm I messed up. Mm, doesn't look like it, okay. So let's distribute now. 4 times a negative 12. That's a plus a negative here now. 4 times 12 is 48. So negative 48. Add the exponent x to the 8th power. And then 2 times negative 12 is a negative 24. And that's x to the 5th power when we add the exponents. All over my denominator, I can simplify over here. Uh, 3x to the 4th minus uh, plus 5 times 3x to the 4th plus 5. When I multiply that out, 3x to the 4th times 3x to the 4th is 9x to the 8th plus 15x to the 4th plus 15x to the 4th. You'll get better at this the faster you do it. The more you do it, plus 25. Simplify 9x to the 8th plus 30 x to the 4th plus 25, okay? So 9x to the 8th plus 30x to the 4th plus 25, okay? So now let's go simplify. Let's find my like terms and combine them, okay? So we have dy dx equals, the highest degree I see is the 8th power, so I'm going to combine these two together. Uh, put it right there, okay? Uh, 60 minus 48 is 12, so we have 12x to the 8th power. Next highest degree I see is to the fifth power. 12x to the fifth minus 24x to the fifth is a negative 12x to the fifth. Okay, find those two. Next highest exponent I see is to the uh, fourth power. So we have plus 100x to the fourth right there. And do I see anything else? Fourth, third, second. Okay, last one is uh, 20, just x plus 20x. And I believe I have all of them brought, uh, brought down. Fantastic, now my denominator, uh, simplify it out here, or write, rewrite it, 9x to the 8th plus 30x to the 4th plus 25, okay? And there's no, nothing I can really simplify here, no like terms I can pull out of the numerator and denominator, not that I'm aware of, and it's not the end of the world, to be honest, I didn't really mark off my students, if they didn't, you know, find something else to factor out, I was pretty happy with this. So we have a final derivative here of dy dx is equal to 12x to the 8th minus 12x to the 5th plus 100x to the 4th plus 20x all over, all over here, 9x to the 8th plus 30x to the 4th plus 25. 
So let's recap. We're given our function y equals 4x to the fifth plus 2x squared over 3x to the fourth plus 5. I wrote my numerator to be f, the denominator to be g, and I found f prime and g prime respectively. I then applied the quotient rule here once I had all my missing pieces, and I had f prime times g minus, I distributed the minus later, a minus f times g prime all over g squared. At that point, I have my calculus done. I've taken my derivative. The rest is just algebra and simplification. When I did my algebra and simplification, I got to my final answer, which was dy dx is equal to 12x to the 8th minus 12x to the 5th plus 100x to the 4th plus 20x all over 9x to the 8th plus 30x to the 4th plus 20.